here looking for a uh, Danino Den. Now, uh, I'm glad Simon's here because I don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh dear. And by don't know where it is, you mean right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's gonna smash the mice. Uh, I'm just gonna smash it with this. Yeah. Beat it, Andrew's on. That's it. Right. I'm, I'm doing a very scientific uh, experiment using uh, really expensive equipment to find out how Stop deep push this is. Ah! <laughs> Jag. Oh, and is it? Right, so my measurements have deduced that it is half a curved stick uh, length down from the surface to the bottom. Here is the competition. Who's got the better footprint to become the new king? Of Scotland. Well, I thought I had the uh, the right to the throne as, as my foot actually fits in not too badly. Look, but uh, of course I think well Andy's going to try now. Like, oh. like a glove, well like like a boot. Oh, Almost nail. the perfect fit. There it is. I think. And as we said, I was discussing with Andy what he's going to do with his life. Now he doesn't have to bother. He's going to be the new king of Scotland. Except oh. I'm going to overthrow him by pushing him off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, well, here I am descending the very steps that the sacrificial victims would have had to, well, they would have come up the way and then they would have got thrown over um, down there. So I'm actually descending the steps. It's quite slippy. And uh, as you go down, you get quite a claustrophobic sense of, uh, of something. Like you're entering into a different world. I'll see you on the other side. The world of scalpy looking pallets. So we're about to descend into Dino Den. Now this place is full of weird, peculiar shit that I don't quite understand or get. Like Jack down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna love that when he sees the final video. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's go have a look at this. I'm feeling a bit cynical today, so. Yeah, let's go look at these scalpy looking pallets. I'm not really sure how what the best way. Ah. <laughs> I see what you mean about stretching your arm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. It kind of looked like you were hanging Broke yourself burn. on there. <laughs> Broke burn. So this is Dino Den, a really nice spot. But it's just it's full of weird shit. It's meant to be paganistic and stuff, but look at this. Looking. Ho ho ho. We've searched for the king's face and we've still not found it, but we have found the mysterious face of Birdman. There he is, staring back at us from the rocks. This is the king's face. It was possibly the best rock carving we found in the den. Unfortunately, the footage didn't capture, so I've just included the photo and a bit of a voiceover for it. But as you can see, it's carved right into the rock and it's very impressive. You know, I'm really sick of this place. People keep telling me it's spiritual, it's religious, it's this, it's that. Well, it's just not. It's just a place people put fucking junk around all over the place and messing up a perfectly good woodland. You know what? I'm sick of this place. Really am. Something strange is going on now. I've this. this. Photography in action. Notice how he points the camera towards certain objects in order to take a lasting image of them, which he can store on his computer and put onto Flickr for the whole world to see. Are you going on a day out? Do you remember to bring your pack lunch? If not, you'll be standing outside queuing for hours to get more food. Which is why you need to buy a Bones packed lunch. Believe now in the power of Danino. No, no, they're still shacked. So, what do you think of that place, Andrew? Well, I don't know. I thought it was quite 
interesting really. A lot of ancient symbols, a lot of uh, religious power here and of course it was the scene of my coronation as the new King of Scotland. So I, I can't complain about that. See, I quite, I like the situation but there's just so much junk here. Like if it was just sort of a few rock carvings and bits and pieces I would really like this place but there's all these weird frayed fabrics and stuff down there. It kind of just looks a bit messy, so... I mean, and yeah, I suppose in all seriousness, it is kind of... I, th I think people just come down here to find what they want to find, really. And, you know, it just... It is a bit... kind of... cluttered. But it's a nice place, you know, it's harmless. I think it's... it's I'm gonna right. give it a kind of this directional thumb. Oh, we're doing the uh, <laughs> three o'clock thumbs, are we? <laughs> I thought we weren't ever doing that rating. I knew it would catch on. Yeah, ahead of us is Danino Airfield and the main building you can see there is the control tower. Now that used to uh, obviously control the landings of all the planes that came into Danino Airfield. And over in that clump of trees there's a load of other buildings as well so hopefully we're going to go see all those during this explore. So we're going to go in to the control tower of Danino Airfield. Ah. So now there's a skeleton in there. Yeah, quite a lot of skeleton in my looks I think. Yeah, something died a horrible death here. Oh, and there's stairs. Yeah, I, think we're, to the top. I think we need to save that till the end. Let's have a quick. Oh, there's a big barrier of pigeon shit, so watch out for pigeonitis. I wonder what all these different rooms were for. I guess you want to do with the control of the, uh, uh, the airfield, I'd yeah. imagine. There's a lot of this. Maps and radar and stuff like that you hear. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to go up the stairs, aren't we? Yeah. It's pretty intact. A lot of stuff to go and see. Did we go in here? How did you go? There's another way in. Yeah. Oh, there's a door. Oh, there's a door right there. Oh, hell's teeth. We went through there. I'm trying to get through this little hole. And look. There's a door there, look. <laughs> oh, I chump, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's the tricky bit, getting up here. Ah. Now this is cool. This puts this up there with some of the better stuff we've seen. Stairs that you can go up and explore the top floor. So this must have been the air traffic control room or something like that. Oh, look though, so much war, so much destruction and senseless death this eh, time. <laughs> Jag banged his head just as Richard predicted. Yes, honestly, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool, man. So we're now on top of the control tower and we're looking out on the vast site of the new airfield. Plenty of buildings to see over there, which show you the perimeter. We'll come around the perimeter some more. And there we go, more, build more buildings. Over there, you get more buildings showing you just how vast this place is. There are more buildings over there which were to do with the airfield, so that gives you an indication of the size of this place. Now the runway doesn't exist, it was a grass runway, and that ran pretty much right down the middle there. And obviously that's just been returned to agriculture. But this runway had issues because see that small hill over there? That made landing here very, very difficult. So this is why this airfield was very quickly abandoned after the war. So here we are in northwestern France, in the town of La Grenoise-sur-Mer, which was destroyed in the war, as you can see. And they also used concrete to build all their buildings for some reason. Well, France has never been the richest of places, so fancy buildings they have not. Let's go on this cardboard box looking one. Oh, that's nice. And there's Jag. That's the door and that's the little hole he crawled through instead of the door to get in. <laughs> I've got a theory on what this might be. What it is, is when soldiers or airmen were court-martialed, they were forced to fight each other to the death inside this big thunderdome here. 
So it's been a bit collapsed unfortunately, but back in the day you'd have stands all the way around here the where the rest of the Air Force would sit and the General would sit on his throne somewhere up in the top box. And uh, as Jag is demonstrating, he'd do the thumbs up or the thumbs down. No, he's had it, he didn't put up a good fight. All right, Jack, me and you in there, we'll uh, right, sort this out. Right, there you go, son. I've got my weapon. And I, as the King of Scotland, will have the thumb of <laughs> decision. So we stumbled across one of the three underground shelters. Two of them are in this area, one of them's more to the north. So let's have a look inside. Now this is an Anderson shelter. The reason it's called Anderson shelter is it was designed for two people. A mother and her son. Oh dear, oh dear. That was desperate. I'll just shut up now and go in. <laughs> Cheers. Uh. Oh dear. The jacket stretches. There what? we go, that is the inside of this. Ah. Place. Excellent. Um, at one point, I think at the end, there would have been an escape hatch. Which has now been uh, capped. Locked off, yeah. This is the other one. I remember this one being a wee bit better, so let's take a look inside. No. Uh, the barbed wire. Yep, yeah, it's that spirally stuff they usually have on the top of walls and things, which they've left here to stop us going in, but we're not going to be stopped, so. Oh, it's bigger. It's much bigger. Provided I don't die trying to get in. Yeah, I think I know where I'd rather be in the war. This one over that one. She even got a deck chair. One of those stripy deck chairs from the 40s when everyone had to go to the beach for their holiday. Right. And this, the shaft is open, the escape shaft. So I'm going to sneak around to the top and stick my head down there to annoy everybody. I'm here. Where is he? He's yeah, right up there. Now instead of using the normal way to escape, Andrew's going to climb out the top. Will he be successful? This doesn't sound very good. I may give up this. So we found a Shanks new cyclo. A not, genuine Shanks. It's not a new cyclo now, considering this is from the war. But, there you go, unfortunately the... Uh, Toilet's long gone. Yep, yeah, but, you know, there's still a bit of pipe there. If you were desperate, you could kind of hover around about that. And <laughs> <laughs> Try and pee into the hole. <laughs> yeah. I am the first of the crew to find my way around into this unusual kitchen kind of building. Hexagonal work surface here. As you can see there's a little small stove with a little teapot on the top and some kind of sink unit. And a bunch of other crap too, but this is one of the oddest little finds of, of the day. This is worth getting into. Yeah, I, I crawled through that window. Maybe not the smartest of moves, but... This is similar, similar in to the second one, isn't it? Yeah. And there we go, that's the fun on the train now, it's now standing underneath. What the hell? I got frightened. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I frightened myself in my own shadow. <laughs> We are now inside this house, and this was commandeered uh, when the airfield came here. Uh, I believe the... I can't remember who lived here now. But, uh, it's a nice building. It's a shame it's in this condition. Uh, there's a nice stairway there. Concrete design, so these seem reasonably stable. I'm not going to leave anything that's... I'm not going to walk on these floorboards. But I will walk up the concrete steps. So the last thing you want to do is go through again. It doesn't look like a quick step here. It's just as you would expect. Yeah, as we can see, there's an old bath in there. And again, I'm not going to walk any further the bird's nest up there. And that is the stairs going back down again, just to give you an impression of the kind of space that we're in. Nice stairs, I like that. It's 
good concrete steps, so you feel yeah. secure walking on them. Yeah, Sick unit. Um, a couple of stoves, oh, some yeah. pans lying around, and there's even the floor tiles are still partially intact. So yeah, this is a nice yeah. rebuilding, this one. There's probably laundry room through here or something like that. Yeah, just more mugs and yeah. pans and shit. So yeah, thumbs up on this place? Yeah, I'd give it a so. thumbs up, it's uh, been a fun explorer through here. I'd give it a thumbs up, I didn't really do much exploring upstairs because there was a piece of bird wing lying on the stair, so I felt a bit squeamish again. So. <laughs> Heroes. That's what war is all about. Heroes. And today, me, Simon and Jag, we're all pretty heroic in our conquest of the Dunino airfield. Wouldn't you agree, Simon? Wouldn't you agree? Indeed I would. It was a great place to have a look around. Uh, you get to see a lot of stuff there, a lot of buildings, some underground spaces. That old cottage was quite nice. And But you also have to work for it. There's a fair bit of a, of a walk to get all the way around the perimeter of the airfield. So definitely a great day out that I very much enjoyed. We are at Lathokar, or Lathokar. Um, not sure how to pronounce it. Just off the road and in the woods. We noticed there was a tower on the map here and it's a strange, ugly, Teutonic looking thing and Simon seems to have found a way in so I'm going to pass the camera over to him now who's going to resume this video. And yeah, this is the doorway that I noticed and there are a lot of twigs to negotiate so let's have a quick look inside for you. That is the inside just there. So there's really not too much going on. It looks like a boiler of some kind but there's uh, not much in there so I'm not going to bother trying to scramble down into it. An interesting find if ultimately a rather boring one because there's not much interactivity here. So, so I'm going to sign out. Here we are in Lothocker at the moment and I was looking for some buildings that I'd found online which were indicated to be possibly some kind of POW camp connected with some of that other war stuff that's uh, quite frequent in the area. A lot of these broken buildings, they seem to suggest some kind of military purpose, so I think we've successfully found what we were looking for, but we don't really know what they are. The internet doesn't shed any light as to what these things are, so this is a bit of a mystery. Is there anything you know about these, Simon, or is this...? Not at all. Strange location, this one. It's wonder, the back of the yard, basically. So. I wonder if Richard knows anything about it. There's a van just parked up there yeah. as well, so we're obviously. Yeah. Well, so I think there's where the, the wall buildings, and as you said, the yard's kind of spilled into it. I think we definitely found what we're looking for, yeah. just maybe not in the way we were hoping to find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one was a bit of a weird one here at Lothocker and uh, it was just some online research I did regarding the house that's over there but what came up as more interesting was that stuff that we actually found there that was supposed to be some kind of POW camp but nobody really knows. Unfortunately it's so close to a yard now that we couldn't really explore it in the way we were hoping so we can't really give it that much of a good thumbs up because of you know circumstances but it was nice to come and see anyway and I got a new stick, which I'm proud of. Thank you to Jag for joining us today. I'm tired, I'm injured, I'm hungry, I'm cold, but I've enjoyed myself. You got a new staff and as well. And I got well. a staff as well, look at that. 